I wish I drank coffee because I could really use some right now. Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR. It's been a hot minute since I made a video and I hope I still know how to make one. This year has been quite the roller coaster. It had its ups, it had its downs. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how this year went. This is my second take doing this video because my first one ended up being like really long and I rambled about stuff that I want to do in the future, like for next year, at least hopefully. So I'm going to do a separate video for that. I was going to do a video talking about the games I'm looking forward to next year, which I'm still going to be doing one of those. But I feel like a lot of you guys like it when I'm like real with you guys, like when I'm like, I want to like, like, how... How can I say this? When I'm not acting all goofy and energetic or whatever, like, when I'm legit real with you guys, uh, some of you guys seem to like that. So, look forward to that video. But today, we're just going to be talking about how this year went, and I remember I was, like, thinking about this, like, for the past week, and I'm like, holy hell, what happened this year? I can't remember. There were some things that I remembered that I thought happened this year, but it turns out they just happened in 2015, so I'm like, shit. So I made a list of what happened this year, and I'm pretty confident I am missing a lot. And I'm pretty confident I'm going to make this video, I'm going to upload it, and I'll be like, shit, I should have talked about this. Well, it's going to be too late now, so uh, let's get into what is on my list. First up, I only got a few games this year. Here, I'm not into gaming as much as I used to anymore. There's not a lot of games that come out that make me like, oh man, I want this. Like, I'm not the, I want to say I'm the average gamer, like, I'm more casual than I used to be like I'll play my Mario and Sonics and stuff but that's about it a lot of games that come out nowadays like they're like shooters and stuff I'm like no like, I hate shooters with a passion and I only picked up like four games this year and they're all on PS4 I haven't picked up a Nintendo game since I don't know Yoshi's Woolly World or Super Mario Maker I don't know which one came out first uh, Mario Maker is like the old like the newest game that I got and my 3DS, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, is the newest one I got. But um, all the games I got this year were all on PS4. They were like Final Fantasy, uh, Naruto Storm 4, Uncharted 4, and Mirror's Edge. I spent more money on figures than I did games. So, yeah, that sucks how I'm spending so much money on figures. But uh, I was talking to MH Toy Shop, and they're talking about possibly sponsoring the channel so that's gonna help me out a lot yeah I possibly got an MH toy shop sponsorship um I was talking to them about it and I they asked me okay what kind of figures do you want to review and uh, they haven't gotten back to me yet because probably because of holiday season like they're probably getting so many emails already so I'll talk to them like like probably mid January somewhere around there and uh, I'll see how things go from there but if they send in some stuff then sweet yeah, like, before I recorded this video, like, hours before I recorded this video, I was, like, going on my shelf. I'm like, how many figures did I pick up this year? And, yeah, just a shelf behind me, I picked up more figures than I did games. And that's not including anything that's behind the camera. Like, I've picked up quite a few figures. Kind of like how my channel's going. It's, instead of being, like, game-oriented, it's more about figures now. Wow. What happened to my life? Moving on from that, I had a few relationships this year, and they were fun. But, unfortunately... They ended, so I learned this year that I take breakups terribly, and I need to work on that for next year. So we'll see how that goes. It's mainly the fact that I just take breakups like a baby because I'm in love a lot, and I end up falling too hard, and it's terrible and unhealthy. And unfortunately, my happiness relies on being in a relationship nowadays, and it's not good. So we'll get more into that in my plan to 2017 video or something i don't even know what to call the video for now but we're not gonna ramble in this video like, i spent this year with a lot of girls like, like i wasn't in a relationship with a lot of girls like I, I spent like time like with dates and stuff and that was fun like my dating game really didn't start like it started like the end of last year like the later half of last year but like i didn't get more serious until this year and that that was fun that was a lot of fun uh, things end and gotta move on so off to meet someone new <laughs> but in all seriousness like we'll talk more about it in my next video well not next video but like you know what i'm talking about i bought a car this year and that was really exciting uh here i went for my permit i think slightly after i turned 23 and i was studying for it for a while and i was really excited because i remember last year i wanted my license somewhat badly like I wanted a car and stuff, and I'm like, like I, don't, I just didn't have that drive for it, like, like, or no pun intended, but like I didn't 
like, I wasn't too motivated to get my car. And I think, like, I remember, like, something happened that really, really, really wanted me to get a car. Like, I think it may have been, like, when I was going to the bars and stuff with my friends. And I had to rely on them for a ride. And the fact that they were drinking. And I had to get my mom to pick me up all the time. And eventually, one time she picked me up. And her car kept overheating. So she kept trying to pull over and let her car um, cool down. And then we hit, like, I, I don't know what to call it. Like, a pit or whatever. I don't know. The word is not coming up to me. It didn't even come up to me in the first shot of this video. But we hit something, and her tire popped, and yeah, that sucked. So I'm like, you know what? I need to get my own reliable ride. I'm sick of my friends taking me to the bar and not having a reliable ride home. Not that mom's not a reliable ride home. I mean, like, the fact that I have to call mom all the time to take me home is bullshit. So I bought my landlord's car, and that didn't take long for me to pay off at all. Like, I, I got my permit, and then, like, not even, like, two weeks later, I got the car, and, and then at the end of August, I got my license. And then two days after I got my license, my car takes a shit. That was fan freaking tastic. I ended up throwing like, I don't know how much money into my car. Like, I remember I got a nice paycheck. I'm like, finally, I have some money to sit on. I spent all of that plus some trying to fix my car. But now it's running nice for now. Uh, I got to put new tires on it. I bought tires for it months ago. And I've been telling my dad for like the past couple of months, I'm like, Hey, we should put these tires on my car. It's gonna start snowing soon, yada yada. And then one one morning, here, um, uh, it was a uh, Saturday morning. I had to go to work, and here we knew that it was gonna be icy roads and stuff. I'm like, Dad, we better get on this. And Mom was all like, You know, Kyle, you're not driving to work. Uh, you're you're not experienced yet. You don't know how to drive on these icy roads, yada yada yada. And yeah, um. I didn't not I didn't drive to work. Uh, I had to have my dad give me a ride, and even after all of that, like we knew, oh, we should probably put on my tires now since you know snow's finally freaking coming. The tires are still not on my car. I've had these tires for I don't know how many months, and it's probably gonna be until after winter till I get these tires put on because here I am an impatient person because my parents see I don't want to say they wait till the last minute, but like they don't get things done. Immediately. I remember like, when my car took a shit, I was on my dad's ass the whole time. He got irritated with me. And like, sure, yeah, it, it was annoying, but I had to be on his ass because if I know if I didn't, I wouldn't have my car f fixed by then. I like to get things done as soon as possible. I hate waiting on things because of them. Like, like I get to the point where like I eat breakfast at like, not breakfast, I eat dinner at like nine o'clock or later sometimes, which I'm like, I remember I told somebody about that. And she's like, why are you eating dinner so late? I'm like, what? That's not normal. So like, it'll get to, sometimes get to the point where it's like almost 10 or 11 o'clock. Th those are rare. Like, but like it gets to the point where we have to wait on dinner because my dad doesn't know what to eat or whatever. But I hate waiting for things. It's annoying. If I want something now, I want to do everything I can to get it now. That is the energy I got for getting my car. I worked as much as I could. I saved up almost every penny I had so I can get the car as soon as possible. With that being said, um, that, that hit me personally with a bunch of my stuff. Like, I want to get so many things done now. And that's probably one problem that I might have when it comes to relationships. I am an impatient person. Like, there's some things I am patient for. Don't get me wrong. But, damn. Ah. Uh, I need to work on my patience. I'm gonna blame my parents for making me impatient. Pokemon made a comeback and like, Pokemon Go came out and that was, I don't know how to feel about when it first came out because when it first came out, it barely worked. Uh, fun, like, well, at least the tracking worked. That was good. That only lasted for like three weeks maybe, I don't know. And just stopped working. Still haven't properly fixed it yet. The fuck, okay. So, yeah, Pokemon Go came out, and I remember, like, the world took it by storm. Like, it was legit Pokemania coming back, like, 20 years later. It was really great. But what sucks is, like, not too many people play it anymore, even though, like, they're fixing a lot with the game. They're making it more playable, and yada, yada, yada. And they're adding more Pokemon to the game, finally, slowly but surely. And they still need to add trading to the game, which is fucking bullshit. But, yeah, eventually Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, and I remember, like, Sun and Moon, I don't really care like i would see like the little forms i'm like oh these are really cool but 
that's it. Like, then Red and Blue came. I'm like, oh shit, now I gotta, now I gotta get this. But I don't know. Like after playing Alpha Sapphire, I got so bored. Like I felt like I had to force myself to play it because so many games came out in November. Like, like Smash came out, that came out. I forget what else came out. But a lot of games were coming out at the same time, and I had to force myself to play all these really quick so I can move on to the next game, which, by the way, they should stop doing that because it freaking irritates me. But now that the fact that there's not too many games coming out that I'm interested in anymore, it's like it's just Nintendo stuff and maybe 5% of PlayStation games that come out throughout the year. Um, yeah, it's not as bad anymore. But yeah, like Pokemon, like, I don't care about it as much as I used to anymore, which is really sad, because Pokemon was a huge part of my childhood, and I still love Pokemon, technically, like, I, I play Pokemon Go and stuff, but, I don't know, I, I want to say I'm going to be like a hipster, be all like, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the originals and shit, but even the original games, I don't even like playing much anymore, like the cards, I tried getting back into them, to an extent, and, yeah, it's just nothing, like, I don't know, I'm just going to like the Pokemon stuff I have now, and just be happy with it, I guess, I don't know. I went through a lot of phones this year, so I started off the year with an iPhone 4S, okay? And that was, that was something. That was a turd, a little bit. <laughs> Remember, my friends Tawny and Jasmine came up, and we were taking a bunch of selfies and stuff, and that was a bunch of fun. And then, eventually, I ended up getting an iPhone 5C because I think my phone got water damage, and then eventually the, uh, the thing wouldn't charge properly anymore. The battery ended up, like, not charging properly. Like, it wouldn't hold a charge at all. Like, here, I would go through my phone, okay? I would play with it, and it's, like, 36 to 40-some percent. Next thing you know, it shuts off. So the phone won't even last, like, two hours. And if I'm out and about, I'm, I gotta worry about my phone shutting off. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so eventually, I got a 5C, and I was really happy with that. And I got a couple of screen protectors through it. Like, I was testing all these hammer-proof... Uh, screen protectors and I tried one okay and it didn't go on properly for some reason and I drop it from my desk to my floor which by the way my floor kind of has carpet like it's not a hardwood floor but the carpet is so old like, it, it doesn't even count as carpet like it just looks like carpet but it's pretty much a hard floor but anyway it hits the floor and even though the screen protector can take a hammer apparently it cannot protect my phone from a floor it hit the corner, I guess, and it, like, shot. It looked like Spider-Man just shot a web all over the thing. It looked ugly as fuck. And I was really pissed. So I got a new screen for my 5C. And it was a third-party screen, so, like, the colors weren't as vibrant. It was, like, dull colors and I don't know. But I put it in, and putting, a, like, taking an iPhone apart and putting it back together and stuff, it's a big pain in the ass. I don't like it. And I put the new screen in. The camera doesn't work. I'm like, fuck. So here, I would press the camera a little bit. And it would work sometimes. So the one day I'm trying to talk to Tony, I was getting really getting angry. I ended up like squeezing my screen so hard that like my screen cracked again. I'm like, fuck. Okay, you know what? No, no, I should have bought an iPhone 5S. So uh, I'm gonna buy an iPhone 5S. And I remember my ex Pam was bitching at me every time I got a new phone. <laughs> she still does actually. So I got an iPhone 5S and I was happy with it. I got a screen protector that was hammerproof. The, I, the brand that I liked the most. I stuck with that because it worked. And one day, it was the, uh, the weekend before Christmas Eve, I was working, I dropped my phone, hard floor. I'm like, oh shit, okay, pick it up. I dropped this phone on concrete multiple times and it still worked fine. But this floor, eh, nope. So I pick it up and I see no cracks. I'm like, perfect. I press the home button. I'm like, I'm like, okay, let me uh, scroll to my phone. My touchscreen isn't working. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. So there's this guy that works on iPhones in the building that I work at. I'm like, oh, bro, can you can you help me? And he's like, I'll try my best. So all right. So he works on it for a little bit. I go back. He's all like, yeah, okay, you need a new screen. It's as simple as that. Like that's all it is. And I don't have any screens right now. I'm like, mm, shit. So he's telling me I should get, buy a new screen. I, I can do all this shit myself. And I'm like, you know what? No. I'm selling the phone. I'm not working on iPhones anymore because they just make it a, I just end up wasting money and making things worse. So I just buy a new iPhone. Also, here the home button was working when I gave it to him. I get it back from him. My home button doesn't work anymore. I'm like, fuck. Like this month, my life went to complete shit. Like... My luck went completely down the drain. It was terrible.
So I buy another iPhone on uh, eBay, okay, for like 156 or something like that. And then I'm scrolling through YouTube and I find out, oh, you can buy an iPhone 5S from Walmart for 149. I'm like, fuck, why didn't I do that? I didn't know that was an option. So I buy an iPhone from them. And since I bought $250 iPhones plus my Christmas shopping, I almost maxed out my credit card. And so I got a return to one phone, I got to sell the other phone, I sold it for like 50 bucks. And then eventually I got to pay back like 10% or something, so fuck. It's cost me almost every penny I have to pay off my credit card now, so yay! So now I got another iPhone, brand new. And here with my old 5S, the battery would die so quickly. This one lasts a decently long time, which is really nice because it's a brand new battery. And um, I got a screen protector and a, a case finally because I needed a case. And I hate cases, but this one seems nice because it doesn't like cover up the phone too much and it doesn't make it too thick or anything. So I love being able to take my phone out of my pocket super easily. Oh my god, I'm rambling again. I should probably move on. I also went on vacation to an extent. Like I went to my friend Tawny's house. Like she lives towards Pittsburgh. She doesn't live in Pittsburgh. But when I tell people about where I go, I just say, oh, I just went to Pittsburgh. And I was staying there for a week. And I remember I told him when we broke up, if I had to get rid of all of this uh, for us to get back together, I would do it, whatever. And even though I said that, like, you won't know how to experience it unless you actually experience it yourself. You know, like, you don't know how it feels until it actually happens to you. So I was... a a week away from all of this like I had my phone but I was barely on YouTube I had my DS but I barely played games on it but I was mostly spending time with the girls and I spent like a day doing business stuff with her dad like I, while he was gone I was doing stuff for his business and it was really cool so like I was adjusting to that really easily and I felt natural like, I got a break from my life and it felt really really good and I feel like I need to go on more vacations because I, I kind of go through depression like I, everybody goes through depression once in a while it's like some harder than others but yeah like I found out this year because here I also went to the king of Prussia but I'll get into that later you know what? no I'll get into that all that later let me finish up this vacation story so yeah I spent a week up there around Pittsburgh and it was it was something Cause here, like, I slept on the couch all week, which sleeping on the couch doesn't suck, don't get me wrong, but it's the fact that almost every night I was terrorized, <laughs> like, I would get pulled off the couch multiple times a night, I would get water poured on me, it was a terrible time. But I still had a blast though, it was a great time. I might do it again, I don't know. Like, it really depends. I swear to God, if they're gonna pull me off that couch again, I'm done. I had to take a train to go down there, and it cost me like a hundred dollars to get there and back. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that again or if I want to drive this time, because I I have the option to drive now. But I don't know. So anyway, this King of Prussia thing here. Uh, slightly after me and Pam broke up, I was depressed. Like I was depressed a lot this year because, like, sure I had a few relationships, but in between those relationships, I was depressed because I was alone and I was trying to meet new girls and stuff. I would flirt with a lot of girls and stuff, but it's whatever. But like, a lot of times I was alone, so I was really depressed about it. Especially, like, this is, like, when I went to King of Prussia, I was, like, this is, like, slightly after me and Pam broke up. And like, one day I was working, and Alicia and Eric come up and, like, hey, you should go to this event with us. Uh, it's out in Philly. Uh, there's going to be girls there. I'm, like, hmm, okay. Because here, apparently, my boss didn't need me for work all that much because, like, I guess it was a really slow day. And he was going to, like, pay me less and, like, make me leave anyway, I think. I'm pretty sure that was going to happen because like, I had like, I had a reason why I could have left. Because orig like, originally, I would say, no, I got to work. It sucks, but whatever. But there was some reason why I had a reason to go. I don't know. So, I tell Mason, hey, they want to take me to the mall. They want to take me to Philly. So, uh, uh, I'm going to go, I guess. And we're like, okay, yeah, have fun. So we go to Philly. We go to this one mall before King of Prussia because the, the, the event itself, itself was at another mall. And then we go to King of Prussia. And God, like, I've never been to King of Prussia before. It's seriously the Disney World of malls. It's like the biggest um, mall in PA. Here, after me and Pam broke up, I was in a very bad state in my mind. Like I, had, like, I was like really depressed and I had some dark thoughts and stuff. But after that night, 
like, I don't know what it was. Like, I didn't go shopping. I didn't buy anything. But I think it was the fact that I was somewhere new. Like, that helped me a lot. Like, there's this form of depression. I forget what it's called. But it's pretty much, if you repeat the same stuff every day and, like, your life doesn't change much at all, like, eventually it makes you depressed and eventually it gets to suicidal thoughts or whatever. I heard something about it. So I checked it out. I'm like, that kind of sounds like me. But, yeah, when I went to this mall, like, I was so ecstatic because it was something new, something different. And I feel like if I want to be happy again... Like, it's either get a new girl, which I shouldn't be forcing myself to date girls and stuff to be happy and stuff because that's not healthy. But, like, I shouldn't be actively, like, just searching for a girlfriend. Like, they, she will eventually come to me. But as of now, I should just work on myself and be happy. But again, I'll get more into this in the other video. This, like, that trip going to Philly made me so freaking happy. And I thanked Eric and Alicia and I was talking to them about my dark thoughts and stuff. And they felt really sad and stuff but like holy crap i needed that and i feel like i need to do more of that i need to get out of this house i need to go explore but, like i'm not saying just go to the mall or whatever like you know i mean like i need to go on like I, vacation like i need to go to new york i should go to florida or whatever like there's not much i want to do with life anymore i want to settle down have kids or whatever have a family and just be done with life but before I do that, I do want to go to a few places. But luckily, it's not going to be anything expensive, like going to Italy or going to Japan or anything. Like, I just want to go to, like, MAGFest or PAX or whatever. Like, just go to a few things that are local that are new experiences for me, but are not going to cost me an arm and a leg to do. So, I think if I do a few of those, hopefully, I'll be happy again. I'll have a good mindset, a state of mind or whatever. That was my computer. Quiet you. But, yeah, I need to do more of those so then I can have my energy to do things again. If you guys stuck around this far, uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. And I missed you guys. Like, there were times where I did want to stream, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. But um, as hopefully soon I'll have that energy to do streams and stuff like that again. It's, it's going to take me a little bit. No, like, hopefully it won't take me too long, but it's going to take me some time to get my energy back to do videos like i think again i just need to go to king of Prussia once or twice and i'll be fine thank you guys so much for sticking around still after my whole depressional state or whatever still thank you guys for sticking around you guys are amazing and i'm looking forward to getting back to youtube like getting this a game back on if you're new and you like what you saw you know what to do in the description there's my snapchat my instagram and i forget what else is down there my twitter i think my twitter's down there as well a p.o box so thank you guys for tuning in and next video it's probably gonna be my christmas pickups i don't know uh we'll see we'll see thank you all for watching i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one